friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a totally unedited recording of fake emulsification of a soft cataract nuclear sclerosis in this case is grade 1 plus or grade 2 in this case i am going to employ the carousel technique of nucleus management let's observe this surgery this is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus and now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away from the main incision and only one side port was made in this case now capsulorexis I am going to use a uterita forceps for doing the capsulorexis the anti-capsule is torn, a capsular tag is raised, this capsular tag is held with the uterita. It is guided in such a way that we get an adequate size to rexis of 5.5 millimeter or even 5.75 millimeter. And now hydro dissection is to be done. A 27 gauze cannula and balanced salt solution is being used for hydro dissection. It is done and now hydro delineation. For carousel technique, it is a good idea to do a nice hydro delineation so that we can place the FECO needle at the edge of the nucleus. This hydro delineation has demarcated the nucleus and the epinucleus. We are going to place the FECO needle at the edge of the nucleus. And now some more visco has been used to fill up the antechamber again and now the tip of the FECO needle is to be introduced. This is a 2.8 millimeter tip and the machine is Oatly Cataracts 3. We are going to use 400 millimeter of mercury vacuum and 40 ml per minute flow rate and ultrasonic energy of 60%. Though 60% will not be required, the ultrasonic energy is set at 60%. And now watch this. The nucleus has been nicely rotated. This is a prerequisite for the carousel technique. And now place the tip at the edge of the nucleus. Use vacuum. The nucleus rotates like a carousel and it gets removed in no time. Now the epinuclear shell is removed. We can reduce the vacuum now and try removing the cortex by the FECO needle itself. I try to do that, but do it as long as your instinct says. Once you find that this is going to be dangerous, once you get a direction from your brain that this is going to be dangerous, stop and use safer methods of cortical cleanup. I am going to use a Simco cannula. This is visco, a bit of visco. And now I am going to use a 23 gauze Simco cannula for removal of cortical lens matter. Simco cannula is much safer than the automated instruments like bimanual irrigation aspiration or coaxial irrigation aspiration. But once you practice those things, once you know the nuances of those things, they also become safe in your hands. The cortex has been nicely cleaned by the through the main port itself. I didn't have to go through the side port to remove the cortex. The sub-incisional cortex has also been removed by the Simco cannula. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. I'm going to use a whiteboard cartridge. Before that, before implantation of the intraocular lens, this is polishing of the posterior capsule by the irrigating cannula. Now the irrigating cannula keeps the 
antechamber formed and while the main wound is enlarged by a fraction of a millimeter say 0 0.1 millimeter or 0 0.2 millimeter and now the intraocular lens can be implanted in the capsular bag without stretching the main wound. If we have a C cartridge, we can we need not enlarge the main wound. And now the visco that was there in the lumen of the cartridge came out just by irrigation. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side port is to be closed by hydrating corneal stroma. The main wound has not been stressed and it has been constructed nicely and it will not require any hydration. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time the aspirating port is used for irrigation towards the corneal endothelium and whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out. All the visco from the capsular bag also is removed by going behind the intraocular lens. The antechamber is nicely formed and then the integrity of all the wounds are checked. The microscope I am using is like a 6.5 horn. It doesn't have a continuous zoom so I had to use the step magnification. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. You haven't missed anything. This is a totally unedited recording. Hope this video will inspire you to do good surgeries. Be a good surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.